when we make the transformation of the world, we need uh, support of the policy decision makers. And uh, Hans Josef Fell, who was one of our pioneers in our club, uh, father of renewable energy law in Germany, he gave his name for this award. And this year, we decided and proposed, instead of the policy maker, we propose the person actually who is shaping, yes, the vision and helping the strategies to shape the strategies to the political decision makers. And the winner is Miko Meret. I'm very honored, uh, Miko, because I met you last year in Paris, yes, and uh, like immediately we got very good together, so you are a main author of our Quo Vadis Green Hydrogen, yes, and I was very happy actually that uh, Hans Josef Fell suggested you to the award, yes. So Miko, I would say he's one of the best experts in the geopolitics of the hydrogen, yes, in uh, Solar energy in energy storage, geopolitics are important, but we can produce locally, yes? But for the hydrogen, geopolitics are the most important, yes? We cannot uh, uh, scale up, uh, build a global system without geopolitics, yes? And uh, the cooperation of the countries, yes? And uh, actually, Miko started his uh, hydrogen story when he was traveling to Arctica. Can you tell us how the story with hydrogen started and why you are now you know, so involved in this topic around the world? Thank you, Tomas. Thank you, everyone, uh, of course, for staying so late, of course. And thank you, guys, for coming to the stage to, to celebrate this moment. Definitely, I'm not a policymaker. I'm a policy anal analyzer, so to speak. And effectively, my job, uh, I started this 15 years ago. I was a researcher on uh, hydrogen, uh, on Arctic and Antarctic geopolitics. So the geopolitics of the North Pole and the South Pole. And basically, I realized about 10 years ago, in 2013, that there were many projects, many prospects, many possibilities uh, in the Arctic in particular, and also for the decarbonization of Antarctica in the deep south uh, with hydrogen. And, you know, when you're here in Saudi Arabia, you think, well, you know, you have the solar, it's easy, you have the wind, it's easy, there you go, let's build the hydrogen plant and so on. It can be done easily, right? When you're in the far north, <laughs> It's, it's a different story. It's a different story. You've got the cold. People don't want to get up there. Minus 50 degrees in the, in the winter time. There's no solar, nothing, no sun for six months in a year uh, in the winter time. How do you build that? Well, that was part of my job for the past 10 years. And now we're helping countries like Greenland, uh, Iceland, basically either become independent or becoming more independent uh, thanks to hydrogen because that's a good opportunity for everyone up there. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm really proud that uh, you are now a member of our family and uh, you really deserve this award. So I would like to ask my members.